What is going on guys, it's Ben here, and today we are coming at you once again with a late night upload. Uh, it's been, my upload schedule has been pretty sporadic over the last few days, I apologize, but it's been like busy these last few days, uh, I don't really know uh, why or how it just happens, some of the stuff I'm not even home to do, uh, but today we are gone all day skiing, I'm actually pretty tired, you may notice my hair, I might be windburned or whatever, got home not too long ago, uh, we went with my family and Carla actually went skiing for the first time, and she did really really well, she learned it nice, she went down some big hills, only fell a couple times and didn't get seriously injured so it's an accomplishment so uh, it was a good day but I'm actually extremely tired right now um, these lights are actually like really hurting my eyes too but other than that we are gonna be opening up the clan chest in today's video I actually only have one of these because my clan completed it so fast that I didn't really have time to get on my other accounts and hop on because I have 37 on this account on um, my main account but my other ones and and Carla are at the bottom chilling with zeros that's that's unacceptable. Um, Carla honestly doesn't play, so we might kick her out because she she doesn't play Clash Royale, uh, except for unless I make her play like touchdown with me. So we can get her out of there. But my other accounts, that's unacceptable for me. Other than that, we need a trophy push. Hardcore, like I said, one day, one hour left in this season. And tomorrow's the Super Bowl, and I got a big Yu-Gi-Oh tournament as well. So I'm gonna only have to until tomorrow night. And I say this every time: I do not want a trophy push super late. Uh, other than that, though, we're using a new Golem Battle Deck to trophy push. It's pretty solid. I've got recommended this by a lot of players. The only downside that this battle deck I see with uh, is is it doesn't have an awesome counter to three Musketeers. Other than that, it's got pretty good matchups versus Hog Riders. It's got a decent matchup versus Log Bait because you can use the Tornado to activate your King Tower. Um, you can use the Tornado to activate your King Tower versus Hog Rider. If you don't have the Night Witch or the Lumberjack, that's okay. Uh, if you don't have the Ice Wizard is either, that's okay as well. Just maybe throw in like an Electric Wizard if you have it. Um, you could also throw in a Baby Dragon. I know it's one more elixir, but it's accomplishing sort of the same thing. And honestly, sometimes I like the baby dragon even better because it's an air troop. Um, if you don't have the night witch, that one's a little more difficult to choose like a substitute for. I mean, you could use the royal ghost. Let's be honest, that's an awesome one. Uh, Valkyrie is okay because it's that four elixir. Um, I mean, you could do a knight if you really, really wanted to, but you typically don't do a knight in the prince bandit works too. Uh, I don't know, just whatever card you think you you want to use and lumberjack's kind of like his unique own personal thing i really like him um i don't know you mega minion everyone has he's pretty standard so other than that though we'll open up that clan chest after the first match last week was insane with the clan chest we got the double legendaries out of that definitely go check out that video if you've not seen it so we're just hoping for one today because i only have the one clan cha clan chest sorry i feel like i let you guys down only opening one because you guys are so used to always me opening up three of them for every week on the clan chest but hey hopefully you guys got some good stuff you guys have been sending me some tweets about your legendary quest offers if you get a legendary out of your clan chest i like to know about it as well just uh anything good anything good you get why not send it my way? Uh, uh, I don't know. I always like seeing what you guys get. It makes me feel good. Like, oh, at least some people are... Like, if I don't get anything good out of the chest, it's like, at least some people are getting good things out of the chest. Uh, but like, hopefully that goes well for you guys. Um, other than that, end of the season draft chest. I, I need to do some pushing. Some major pushing on this account. Uh, that That's not good. That execution is going off. So we do have our... I want to pump up, but I don't. Because he has the hog rider. So I'm going to actually pump up on this side. I didn't have my tornado on rotation or I was talking too much uh, when this first hog rider came around. I'm not actually entirely sure. But here, we'll tornado this hog this time. Get him onto the king tower. Activate it. And boom. Now we're in an advantage. Uh, sadly, he's fireballing my elixir collector, which I don't like to see. He's got the executioner. He's going to have a tornado, which is going to be a very solid counter to my night witch. Uh, so we're gonna go on this side with the golem. I mean, why not? I, I don't really I Don't really care that I have that little bit of damage done on the other side I'm just gonna go on hopefully he doesn't have the tornado, but I'm gonna guess he's going to um, Oh, yeah, now we can talk about Super Bowl, too. I might make a video about it. I guess We'll, we'll we will see but who do you guys think is gonna win the Super Bowl? You think it's gonna be the Eagles or are you gonna be the vast majority thinking it's going to be? The Patriots, which pretty much, a lot more, I'd say mostly everyone except for probably Eagles fans think it's going to be the Patriots, which I can understand why. Um, but we're actually going to tornado these goblins away, and they're not really going. So we're going to have to zap them. We're hoping we can at least get to the tower with our Mega Knight, or Mega Minion, I, my apologies. Oh, he's tornadoing it away. Ah, it doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to go, but it, ah, it, it was close. So 
Now we're running down to the wire. I'm gonna actually have to throw on an aggressive golem and risk a hog rider getting dropped on me, which is gonna happen. So we'll throw on our lumberjack as precautionary measures. I'm gonna lose this tower. So I'm just gonna play for getting his tower and maybe potentially, oh, actually I didn't even lose that tower. I'm gonna go in over here, dude. We're, put, we're putting on the heat on this side. Uh, Cause now he's gonna got a he's got a golem to worry about, and he's got all of this. We're just gonna zap these out of the way. We got that night witch chilling. Sadly, the night witch is probably gonna drop some. We're going in, man. Yes, he took my tower, but we got a beastly setup right now. Um, and those bats just took care of him. The, the enraged bats, too good. Yes, we have a huge level advantage, cause guys, my trophy count is very terrible right now. Like I haven't really trophy pushed. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just been weird. Like it's been weird last few days. Like I haven't had a whole lot of time to sit down and trophy push like I normally do towards the end of the season. It's it's discouraging, cause like, the way I can tell is, I'm I'm not, I'm below in the clan. Like, that's that's awful. Good job though for Robin Popeye, but for me it's terrible. So Batman, once again, doing Batman things, getting 281 crowns. So shout out to him. We got Thor, 2517 with 115. And we got Darthar with 78. And then Dallin coming with 72 and then Strider. I, I like I said, had 37. I think I showed this. I don't remember if I did, but yeah. At the bottom was zeros. But uh, we'll, we'll try and get at least, make we'll make it worthwhile. That's what we're going to hope for, is just one legendary, make it two weeks in a row. We'll see what happens. I'm a little nervous. Usually, because like if this if this chest sucks, at least we have a next chest to look forward to on an average video. But hey, I guess, look at it this way. We'll be, see we'll be seeing three draft chests for the first time in a long time. So we need to see epics here. We got a lot of commons out of here. Come on, Clash Royale. Clutch up for us two weeks in a row. Nope. So, didn't get it. Epics, honestly, it's not the end of the world. It's just cool to try and get legendaries and everything. I mean, who wouldn't want to get rare legendaries out of the car, like the packs, or not, not the packs. Talking Yu-Gi-Oh, out, out of the chest. Wow, that's the first time I think I ever called a chest a pack on this channel. That's, that's a little embarrassing. Oh, speaking of that, uh, guys, we, like that wouldn't have mattered if we would have got the legendary too, obviously, but because we're max, but it doesn't matter. So like I said, it's cool to get them. Um, <laughs> we're only in master one. Wow. Ben, you're slack and hardcore. I cannot stress that enough. You guys gotta be on my butt. Be like, Ben, you need a trophy push. You need to get going. Don't watch the Super Bowl tomorrow. Just play Clash Royale. Get uh, 5,800 trophies, 6,000 trophies, whatever, and we'll be happy. Well, I'll try my best to get up there. And then I do, I, I, my goal is to get 4,600 on my second account as well. Is that going to happen? I don't know. I'll try. I'll try. I definitely will. But we'll see. Uh, other than that, we'll, we're going to get destroyed by this giant, aren't we? Lecture Wizard Giant coming in. Dealing the damages. But, dude, level 5 Lumberjack. Well, not, not when I say level 5 only. Just a Lumberjack ever since he got buffed is pretty good. Uh... I don't know why they keep buffing him, probably because no one keeps using him, but he's still he's still a very good oh. This is like one of the feels like one of the YouTuber battle decks in the YouTuber challenge. Hopefully you guys got 12 wins on that and got that legendary chest. Um I guess we'll throw on the Night Witch in the back. Because that's just how we roll. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm a little scared here. I'm gonna I'm gonna be late on the zap. Oh no. And then I don't have I don't have the zap for the bat or the yeah this is like the youtuber battle deck man and we're getting absolutely obliterated by the sparky i'm gonna let him i'm gonna let that sparky just run wild actually i can't so i had a noob zap there i'm gonna let it hit my king tower i had the noob zap there way late on the sparky killed my night witch we just got destroyed destroyed by a by giant minion horde push that's great it's always fun um how am i gonna push through and just win here i don't i don't know <laughs> like this is gonna be tough i want him to drop his minion horde because now i got that ice wizard i can actually like zap him away but all my troops are already dead like all my main pushing troops are gone I think that early misplay is going to cost me, like, losing my tower. Because how am I going to defend this? Like, I don't, I don't know. 
So we're getting shredded by the similar to the YouTuber battle deck, but it's kind of not, but it is, but it isn't. If that makes any sense? Mm, nah, we're done. We're done. This is like, this is like too good for us. They're baiting out our, they're baiting out our stuff. So this trophy session, trophy push session, not going the greatest right off the, right off the start. We won our first match, but we're getting destroyed by the surprise. Giant Sparky Minion Horde, which is it, it's similar, it, very similar to that. Um, I forget his name. I think it's like Kyoko's. Was it his battle deck in the YouTuber challenge that had the the double minions, Giant and the Sparky? It, it reminds me of that one, and it's it's solid. It very is solid, and you can see right there. Made one mini mistake, and it cost me. Well, I don't, honestly, I don't know if it would change a whole lot. Like, you never know. Maybe. The zap hits, my night witch survives, and we're golden. But that wasn't the case. So, dang, we're getting embarrassed. We'll, we'll hit the, we get the YouTuber rule: you lose, you make an excuse. You guys hear me talk about this a lot. So, what are excuses gonna be? You guys should, you guys should make up some ones for me. Like, what's my, what should be my excuse for losing? Is it, I don't know. I guess a legit one that isn't really legit is I'm, I'm kind of tired right now. <laughs> we'll think of something else. I was just so stunned and paralyzed by the Starkey, the Sparky. It just like caught me. I don't, I don't know how to say. It. You guys could probably make up some better things than I could. Just make up some excuses for me as to why I lost. Even though I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Well, we're gonna have to zap the rest of these. Um, it's mini hard. I'm missing my arrows. Usually I run the arrows, but it's it's okay. Uh, we didn't really take any. Too much tower damage. We do have a musketeer with the lumberjack coming in. Okay. I like it. I like it. If I can get pumped up though, we should be fine. I don't really see. Unless this guy just has like some card that I'm really unaware of. Oh. Um, wasn't actually expecting. I was not. This is like the least. This is the last card I was expecting. To be completely honest. <laughs> but I think we should be okay. But we can take him down fairly quickly. Uh, and double elixir, I might, I might just overwhelm him. We will see. But this this musketeer is annoying. I haven't even been able to like. He's put a little too much pressure on me that I can't even comfortably throw it on my elixir collector. Also, we know he has a miner. Um, do I want to? Do I want to do it? What do I want to do here? Throw it on the elixir collector. It's gonna get minered. But I'm gonna throw it on my lumberjack just oh jeez. Okay. Well good GG GG sir. Made me had to counter that. Alright, well that, that put us in the double elixir realm. And now we're gonna have to play straight defense once again on this royal giant. And we we tested the waters. We didn't like what the waters gave to us. I should actually be pushing on the left hand side, but the reason why I'm going on the this side is because that's the side he's pushing towards. And I need and I need to protect this right hand side. With whatever he throws at me. So they're on their wizard. Um That's gonna be tough to get through. It really is. So here. Now we're gonna have to, I guess, tornado these away so our ice wizard can lock on and actually that was a useless tornado. We need to push through. Break through, just get through all of his little defenses. See if the bat can clutch up here. We're enraged, and then okay, good. Thought we were losing it, guys. If we would have lost that royal giant, probably would have rage quit there. <laughs> I don't know. Like, all right, I'm going to bed. Screw this. All right, we'll do one more match. We didn't get too super lucky today. Um, I guess we'll just try the magical chest. Try our magical chest luck. Epic so far. Come on. Nope. So no, no luck today. I guess, I guess all our luck was drained earlier. Uh, at the at the because we actually it's like it's, it's a place in Michigan. It's called Ski Brule. We went there, and then on the way, every time, every time, my mom wants to stop at the casino there and I I don't like the casino there because it smells like smoke on the inside and it like makes my eyes kind of water and the little voice a little raspy but 
She wants to stop there. And this is my first time, because we haven't gone in like two years, because last year she like broke her arm and couldn't really, like, it wasn't proper to ski. So we usually go once a year with like my sister and all that stuff. Um, and they always want to go. And like the previous years, I would just sit in the car and just like haggle them, like, can we leave yet? Can we leave that? They'd say like for an hour, spend like $20, $40. Nothing crazy. Guys, if you do gamble, only spend money. I don't endorse gambling at all. Only ever spend money that you don't care that you're gonna lose. Yes, it's like, like if you lose it, you're okay with it. Don't ever do anything else. But today, for whatever reason, super lucky. I think my sister's boyfriend, I think he won like 500 bucks and he only spent, he started with like 40 and then Carla spent like 20 and I think she won 125, it was crazy. So that's maybe where all the luck is. Uh, <laughs> But hey, it was crazy, but I do not recommend it, guys. That usually never happens. You usually always lose money. Gambling, don't do it. The only time I went, this is the only reason why I went, is because usually I only do it in Finland. Play blackjack. Don't don't play blackjack in the United States, man. Don't do it. <laughs> never win. <laughs> only in Finland. Uh, other than that, though, we're, we're off that topic. Uh, we're continuing to try and pump up. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not really paying attention to this match. Like, I, I don't really know what this guy's going on. You guys are seeing some... Com like, right now, we're just focusing mainly on maybe giving you guys interesting stories over commentary, like, over... And commentary over gameplay. I want to do the hard... Oh, it's Lava Hound. I totally forgot. So, tiredness is kicking in. I was going to say, I didn't really sleep a whole lot last night, too. I got, like, four hours of sleep. We left early morning. Only slept, like, an hour and a half in the car. It was rough, dude. Um, okay. I'm not liking, I'm not liking the setup over here. I'm kind of scared to be honest. So we're actually gonna tornado all this. Get that Valk out of here. Um, why not, why not just go in with two, two Ice Wizards and push this side? No way this guy has Elixir. Nah, actually, it doesn't matter if he has Elixir or not. Fireball is gonna completely shut down any push, apparently. Um, so now we just need to not get recrowned by a lava hound and be aggressive over here okay you want to play dirty you really really want to play dirty on uh, on us here we're probably gonna lose to a mini pack of push all right guys so we're getting into the last match of the day been an up and down struggle we need to get some wins because we need to like up our trophy count honestly 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 so going up against the giant switch up the battle deck a little bit too just been I, I don't know i feel as though i don't know if i like i mean i do like it like i said i was playing that record that battle deck on recommendations and i don't know i don't know we're trying to just figure out a golem because golem was one of my favorite cards it was Honestly, I love the I like the P.E.K.K.A. a lot more, but I'm just gonna go with the bread and butter to trophy push as fast as I can. Just use the best cards available to me, which one is the Royal Ghost. Still, it is the Lumberjack, and I like the Baby Dragon. I really, really, really like the Baby Dragon for a lot of reasons. It's I don't know, I'm gonna go for the three count. We're gonna be a little greedy here. I don't know. I just like the I took out the tornado. The reason for that. I do like it in the scenarios where it's the Hog Rider, but if I have the Lumberjack, the Royal Ghost, and the uh, the Night Witch, I'm not too scared of the Hog Rider then. But I want some more firepower versus the air troops. Uh, and then the air arrows are just for the minion hordes, mainly, just because of how annoying those things are. You guys know what I'm saying? Uh, they're just, they're, they're everywhere. Everywhere, at least in this, at least in this trophy range right now. Um, so we're going in for the three crown. Didn't really work. This guy kind of took advantage of the situation and completely shut us down. So probably a little bit of a mistake by us. Uh, we did get decent amount of damage done. That is the upside. But if we lose this tower, we're actually going to be at a pretty big disadvantage because he can drop that giant into my little lane crease. I don't, I don't know the best way to say it. Like our little crease on our side. Uh, I'm actually gonna have to zap that musketeer. Get that out of here. And we're actually just gonna push. Push inside with our troops right here. And then we're throwing our golem up on his front here. Cause then he's gonna have less time to react. That's what happened. He had a lot of time to react to my golem push. 
slow me down. Um, sadly, sadly we got that baby dragon tanking the shots. That's really not what we want. We'll actually get rid of the bats too. Come on, Royal Ghost, go invisible. All right, so now we're pretty much wrapped it up. Golem's gonna blow, and these Golemites should take care of it. Probably would have been a little bit harder. We'd probably have to do another one of those pushes like that if he was level 13. Um, other than that, though, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. I'm going to go to bed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.